and I'll be a member of Team Twilighter. So, remember this space. Alright, let's get started. I have this apple candle that I currently am holding in my hands like this. I got this before I read Twilight and I knew it would come in handy. I can knit, but I've never actually finished anything. I had two started scarves. This one's promising though. I'm your only child. I'm a writer, but please know that I've been writing in the same genre as, you know, vampires and sci-fi stuff that Stephanie Meyer does. I've been writing in it since I was in seventh grade, which is 2003, before I had read Twilight. I started reading Twilight, I think, 2006. So please, I know it's like a total honor to be compared to her, but please don't do it. Um, because I don't want, like, copyright infringements and stuff, you know what I mean? So, she's the master. I'm referring her to the master from now on. I'm in two bands that yet to have any music actually up and running. Um, one band is, the band is called Imagine Your Neighbor's Faces, and it consists of me, Hannah, my friend Joseph Laws, and my friend Jessica. Um, we don't actually have any music, but you guys should check out Joseph Laws because he's got his own music. Um, I'll link him in the sidebar. And I will link Hannah in the sidebar too because she also does some Twilight videos and some videos related to me and stuff. So she's going to start vlogging soon. So check it out there. Um, my other band is with just Hannah and it's called Lions Love Lambs and it's a Twilight tribute band. Um, we have some songs written, we have about four. Um, we're not very good at writing music though, so, yeah. And the guitars are really out of tune. I've gotten into intense conversations about Twilight and Jacob versus Ed Edward. Here's a reenactment of one of those times. Jacob is so much better. Edward is like, perfect. Uh, Jacob's not afraid to kiss someone. He could kill her. Um, yes, so could Jacob, but he doesn't anyways because of a man. <sighs> what? Oh, <laughs> horrible reenactment and exaggeration of that situation. Yeah. yeah, I love Twilight. I guess I get this at the beginning. And now for the biggest secret of my life. Now, you guys might like hate me for this, but I feel that you guys should know. I've never read an entire Harry Potter book. Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. <sighs> At least I like wizard rock. I wear this for improv so that I look like a Harry Potter nerd. I had glasses too. <sighs> I like Harry Potter. I just can't get into the books. They move slow in the beginning and I need something that grabs my attention. I didn't really get into Twilight until the meadow scene, and then I was like, oh yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah. Because I already knew he was a vampire. Thanks a lot, back of the book. I'm sorry. <sighs> Check out my personal page. YouTube.com slash heartbreak with three Ks, girl. See you later. <laughs> Seminaries! Oh, wow, that sounds lame. Vampires are